Good morning, class. Good morning, ma. How are you feeling today? We're good. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's stand up for a prayer to the lead by Ms. Bulahan. And after that, we have your help and energizer. Let us pray to the Holy Father, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, would be your neighbor. In the power of God, we are the peace of heaven. We bless the day of the fresh of the new pastors. As we forgive those that against us, do not pray as to the best of you to pass from evil. Amen. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Central city, which serves as a center within a globalized economic system that enjoys significant competitive advantages. It is an idea that globalization can be broken down in terms of strategic geological sites that see global processes being established, facilitated, and achieved. Global cities affect global affairs through culture or politics. The term global city as opposed to mega city is thought to have been first coined by Saskia Sassen in reference to London, New York, and Tokyo in her 1991 work, The Global City. Okay class, do you want to explore the adventure of global city through an inspirational story? Yes, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Are you hurt? Oh, it's okay. I'm alright. I apologize, miss. I didn't see that one coming. It's fine. No. Are you new here? Yeah, um, kinda. Um, I came here for business and also to explore things. Cool. It's great to know that you are also into exploring new things. Yes. Wanna go grab some coffee? Don't worry. My treat. Okay. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Since you are new here, uh, I will tell you about the interesting facts about London. Exciting, isn't it? It really is. Do you know the population here have reached 9.5 million? Do you know that London is the most iconic city in the world? Because it is renowned for its rich history, vibrant culture, and world-class attraction. From its royal palaces and ancient monuments, to its bustling markets and trendy neighborhoods. There's something for everyone to enjoy in the British capital. 
Do you know that, that I'm riding this horse backwards? <laughs> Getting aside, we just experienced. I just want to make you laugh. You're hilarious. I think so. Here in London, we can speak for about 300 different languages. Who is Belle? What language is that? French. It means you're beautiful. <laughs> Crazy, but thanks anyway. London is a major time zone, advantage for doing business with Asia. It was the first city in the world to have an underground railway known as the Tube and now has more than 1.34 billion annual passengers. London is also home to massive global brands such as Morgan, Stanley and KPMG which are based in the financial district of Canary Wharf. And London is a city where businesses thrive. Around 40% of the world's foreign equities are traded here. This figure is larger than that of New York. Speaking of New York, I've been there before. New York City, often referred to as the Big Apple, is undeniably one of the most iconic and influential cities in the world. With its towering skyscrapers, bustling streets, and diverse population, New York has earned its place as a global city. New York City has long been recognized as an economic powerhouse, with Wall Street serving as the financial capital of the world. The city is home to some of the largest multinational corporations, banks, and stock exchanges, playing a vital role in global commerce. Its robust economy provides numerous job opportunities, attracting professionals from various fields across the globe. New York City is a hub of intellectual stimulation. With world-class universities and educational institutions, the city offers a wide range of educational opportunities attracting young minds from all over the globe. Institutions like Columbia University, New York University, and the Juilliard School are known for their academic excellence, producing some of the brightest minds in various fields. Yeah, a lot of people say that New York was true a great place, but what about their technology? New York is also at the forefront of technological innovations. The city has witnessed a significant growth in the tech industry attracting startups and tech giants alike. The presence of companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon along with numerous tech incubators and accelerators has transformed New York into a thriving ecosystem for innovation and entrepreneurship. Not just that, because New York City is also a food lover's paradise, the city offers a vast array of culinary delights ranging from street food vendors to Michelin-starred restaurants. Whether you crave a classic New York-style pizza or are looking to explore international cuisines, the city is something to satisfy every plate. New York's food scene is a reflection of its multicultural population, making it a global destination for food enthusiasts. And you know what? My most favorite part is when it comes to the fashion industry. New York City holds a prominent position. The city is home to renowned fashion designers, luxury brands, and the world's famous New York Fashion Week. The fashion district in Manhattan attracts aspiring designers, models, and fashion enthusiasts from across the globe. From high-end boutiques on 5th Avenue to trendy streetwear in Brooklyn, New York sets the trend for global fashion. Oh, it's good to hear about that. I would love to visit New York soon. With that kind of adventurous man you are, I know you'll probably love New York. I guess so. I wonder which country are you from? Well, I'm from Philippines. Oh, Philippines. What capital city name you like? Um, the capital city of the Philippines is Manila. Sounds interesting. Can you tell me more about the country? Sige ba po, paminong karong ha? You're saying? Hmm, never mind. Philippines is called Asia's Pearl of the Orient for the richness of its culture and the beauty of its landscape. We speak for about 130 to 195 languages in the Philippines. The total population of the Philippines is approximately 115.5 million inhabitants. The Philippines is also driven great in technology advancement, 
and it is also a member of an international organization, which is the United Nation. The Philippines is an emerging market and a newly industrialized country whose economy is transitioning from being agricultural to service and manufacturing-centered. Filipino values are rooted primarily in personal alliances based on kinship, obligation, friendship, religion, particularly Christianity, and commerce. They center around social harmony through pakikisama, motivated primarily by the desire for acceptance by a group. Philippines got some delicious and unique delicacies that you should try. Filipinos are known for their creativity in the kitchen, whipping up unique dishes enjoyed by many across the globe. They have adobo, sinigang, bibingka, puto bumbong, sisig, lechon, minodo, caldereta, and my most favorite part is the duck embryo, which is called balut in the Philippines. And you know what? The Philippines has the largest underground river. Many people visit the Philippines because of its cultural history of famous water bodies. In fact, this nation is home to the largest underground river. It is located in Puerto Princesa, Subterranean River National Park. There are many famous landmarks in the Philippines that will amaze you. A trip to this Asian paradise will also provide you with the opportunity to uncover more hidden facts about the Philippines, insights that only the locals can share. You must come and visit Philippines soon. I will. Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I will be there in a while, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry about that. There's an urgent meeting in our company. I will be going now. Nice to meeting you. I thank you for your time. Nice meeting you too. Thank you for the call. Sure. Take care of yourself. See, See you. you. See you around. After um, watching the the movie, what are your insights? Okay, so, another question. Can the city of Metro Manila consider the global city? Or yes, not. Yes, you're right. Okay, any questions further? Okay, last is this. Thank you, Ma. Cause I 